Hi guys, this is Sakura Stallion and today I'd like to go and talk about my newest obsession because as a blue collar worker, I play Roblox. So let's go. <laughs> so I want to do a top five of my favorite horses and honorable mentions are going to come first of ones that I didn't want to put in my top five and Donner is my first cross coat ever. He's a fjord crosscoat on a thoroughbred, and I think he looks like a deer, so I named him Donner, like he was a reindeer, and I actually really like him, and I really like the thoroughbred model in this game, so he has, like, a special place in my heart for being, like, the first crosscoat that I have, and just in general looking really, really cool. Now, Sandstone was the first, like, horse I really bonded with, and it was not the first horse I caught, per se, but she was the first one where I was like, wow, you're really pretty, and you look really unique, and I thought she looked a lot like Sandstone, or just Sandy, like, stuff in general, so I named her that, and she was, like, my main horse until I got really, like, bigger horses that looked a lot prettier, and now she permanently resides in my stable like retired basically. So Pogo is a real life horse that I really loved at my school. Um, I'm putting a picture on the screen for reference, but I really wanted to memorialize her after the updated quarter horses came out in this game and the chestnut coat has like the perfect blaze and is also the exact same color as her. Pogo wasn't a chestnut, she was a bay, but I can excuse it for the fact that like now I have her in this game and can ride her whenever I want, essentially. So the same goes with Sister. Um, her coat is pretty much the same color with like just a few differences. Here's a picture of her um, and the ornament I made for her um, at school. So. She was my last riding horse at the school, and I really loved her. She was not a bratty mare, but a mare that really knew what she was doing, and she taught me just a lot, and I really respect her as a horse, and for her to be able to be memorialized like in this game that I'm playing so that I can really relive the times that I had like at the school, it really makes me feel a lot better being able to see her and Pogo and really have those nice points of like where I've become and how much I really like them and now it means I can bond with her even more than I can't since I'm not at the school anymore. So it's really really nice to have her. So starting at number five of my favorite horses, this is Tomorrow by Together. I also like to call him Shark Bite. It is a Grey Vindal Arabian, and he is my first special breeding outcome that I ever got. I only got him like two days before this video was recorded, and he's not my favorite special coat ever, but he is good looking, and I do have to give him that. So he's number five on that biggest point of like, he is my fifth favorite horse. He'll grow on me eventually, I think. but. I don't really know if I'll like him as much as like the other four horses on the list and I didn't want to put him as an honorable mention because I feel like putting a special coat as an honorable mention would make me look really pretentious but he is a horse that I go wow it's really cool that I have him and I like that he gets to be a part of my stable and he is really pretty he helps me get other coats um, and he is I hope that I can get this coat onto like other horse crosses so he has like a big place in my stable basically for breeding and I really appreciate that he's able to be there essentially. Number four was my first rarest horse which is Pathologic the white thoroughbred. Um, I like to consider him the um, like one of the horse horses of the apocalypse and I named him after a video game series I really like and I caught him on mainland like I I've only really caught all of my rarest horses on mainland for some reason but he was the first rare horse I ever got and he has a big place in my heart for that because he was my first thoroughbred ever the first rarest horse I had and just 
really, really made me go, wow, I'm progressing in this game. Because a lot of this game is luck and chance if you don't want to trade with people. And tr the economy behind trading in Wild Horse Islands is just so complicated that finding a horse like him in the wild was just such a fun time. And I really enjoy it. Number three is Sahara. She is a chestnut Revicano Andalusian, and she was a cross coat I wasn't trying to get. I was trying to get a different outcome, and she was what came out of it. And I looked at her and was like, I think this is gonna look really pretty. And she does. She is a beautiful um, version of a horse. And I genuinely, like, look at her every once in a while and I'm like, you make the Andalusian model look good in this game. The coat is just great. Which says about the quality of the game as well, that the coats look really good, even if they're not on the breed they were originally designed for. Because this is an Arabian coat. And really, just how pretty this horse looks. I named her Sahara because, um... She makes me think of a desert and canyons, so I really, really like this horse. Number two, of course, is Valor. Valor is a fading black Frisian, and I honestly could die for this horse. He is the stand-in for my real-life horse, which is why he's already, like, up at the top. Of course he has to be. He's not an honorable mention because he's also on like one of the models that people really really like but I was so happy to get him. I had to get a fading black Frisian first and then breed with other ones that I had and I was like I need a fading black, black Frisian colt and I got it the first time I bred and I was like well <laughs> I had a breeding project in mind and I got it on the first try so I don't know what I need to shoot for now but he's a stand-in for my own horse and I really really enjoyed having him in my stables and number one is desert desert is a red like chestnut ribicano Arabian and I caught her the same place I caught pathologic on mainland and let me tell you seeing a wild caught red ribicano Arabian was probably the highlight of me ever playing this game. I don't think I would ever experience the amount of stress I have felt in a video game than being on a public Roblox server, seeing a rare horse spawn, and looking at the 13 year olds that are not paying attention to run to the horse and get it before anyone else sees it. This horse is gorgeous. It is really fast, has great stats, is one of the components for breeding special coat colors. It is the best thing I could have possibly ever gotten, like catching it in the wild, and I am just, she is my baby. Her name is Desert, and she's actually Sahara's mother, um, and that's why I have them the same name. I really like the smoke aura on her because it makes me think that she's constantly kicking up sand like she's in the desert, but she's she's my favorite. So I really hope you enjoyed this top five video. I know I didn't say anything about it, but I really like showing what I do in my free time. I spend a lot of time at work and having to pay for the expenses of owning a horse and really I think I could make more content based on that but this is just a small little sliver of what I do in my free time so I really hope you enjoyed it.